Hi everyone! I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and today we are going to talk about the math of yarn dyeing. Yarn dyeing doesn't have to involve a lot of math. You can sort of throw together concentrations and colors by feel and get beautiful results. However, if you want to create recipes and replicate colors and colorways over and over, then using some math so that way you can accurately reproduce things is really helpful. And it would be especially helpful if you want to know how to scale a certain shade that you got up or down. So in today's video, which is sponsored by Lisa, um, I'm gonna go through some different terms like stock concentrations, on weight of goods, depth of shade, and talk about how you calculate these numbers and then how you use these numbers to determine how much dye you need for your project. In addition to sharing a bunch of formulas with you, I will also be going through some examples. I'm gonna mix two different stock solutions and then sort of break down the calculations so that way we can dye a few different gradients so that we can look and see what these numbers actually mean. Two percents that you've probably seen going around are DOS and OWG. DOS stands for the depth of shade, which is referencing the level of saturation you have in a color. And the OWG stands for on weight of goods, which is referring to how much, how many grams of dye you need per weight of fiber. These numbers are actually calculated in the same kind of way. And to be honest, I'm not sure why some people use one or the other, but either way, you calculate this percentage by um, dividing the number of grams of dye that you're gonna use per the number of grams of fiber. So if you are gonna use five grams of dye on 100 grams of fiber, that's a 5% DOS. Little reminder that when you add the percent symbol onto something, you are indicating that you have multiplied that number by 100. So really, five divided by 100 should be 0 0.05, but it is a little easier for people to deal with whole numbers, which is why we say 5% instead of dealing with the decimal. And so this is one reason why in some of these formulas, since we're converting the decimal into a percent, I have the times 100 listed in the formula. I know that this information might be a little extra, but I did really want to explain why those 100s were listed in some of the formulas that I was sharing since we're breaking down the math. <laughs> So when you think about the depth of shade that you want, the bigger the percent is of your depth of shade, the darker the color is gonna be. So a 4% DOS is gonna be a lot more saturated than a 0.5% DOS, which depending on the color might be either a medium shade, like maybe if we were starting with black, or it could be a real pastel if we were starting with a more medium toned color. Part of this is a little bit intuitive. The more dye that you add, the darker the color will be. So therefore, the more grams of dye per 100 grams of fiber, aka the higher DOS or OWG, the more saturated color you will end up with. Now let's talk about stock solutions. We refer to the concentration of our stock solutions as a percent. So if you have a 1% stock solution, it is mixed with one gram of dye per 100 milliliters of water. From this 1% stock solution concentration, you know that if you need four grams of dye for your project, then you would need 400 milliliters of your stock solution, since you know that there's one gram per 100 milliliters. It is also a lot more accurate um, especially if you're dealing with small amounts of dye to measure out say five or ten milliliters of a stock solution than it would be to measure out like 0.1 grams of dye at least on the scales that I have um, your margin of error would be greater um, trying to weigh out the powder for individual projects there are definitely some cons to stock solutions 
Uh, things don't always stay well mixed, so if you don't shake them up really well or things aren't dissolved really well, I've seen things get a little more concentrated towards the end of the stock solutions. However, if you're mixing up a stock to use that same day, then it should be pretty consistent. And if you're using the same recipe to make your stock from one day to the next, that should also be consistent and help you achieve the same shades that you have recorded in your diary. There are a few different ways that you can go from your concentration of your dye stock to the desired depth of shade. One easy way is to sort of bring everything back to grams. If you have a desired uh, DOS of 4%, and you want to dye 500 grams of fiber, you know that it's four grams of dye per 100 grams of fiber, and if you multiply that by 500 grams of fiber, you get 20 grams of dye that you would need. Then you could take that 20 grams of dye and think, okay, if I have a 1% stock solution that is one gram per 100 milliliters, how many milliliters do I need to have 20 grams of dye? And well, you would need two liters of your 1% stock solution to get 20 grams of dye. The easier way to do this is to take your depth of shade, which is just 4%, um, times the amount of fiber in grams that you wanna use, which is 500, and then divide it by the concentration of your stock solution, which is just going to be one, which would be 2,000 milliliters or two liters. Now, instead, we could say if we had a 2% stock solution, then we would be doing um, a DOS of four times 500 grams of fiber divided by our 2% stock solution, which would give us 1,000 milliliters or one liter of dye. Originally, I was gonna to try to put all of this into one video, but I feel like this is getting a little long and a little bit verbose with me throwing up these crude <laughs> inserted calculations into this video. So I'm gonna break this video up into two parts, and in part two, we will take a closer look at all of this that I was discussing today in practice, and we will mix two different concentrations of stock solutions and use our, these calculations to determine how much of those stock solutions we need to achieve different shades, different DOS on some mini skeins of yarn. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz. Um, I'd like to give sort of like a mid-series shout out to our sponsor, Lisa, for suggesting that I chat with you guys about the math of yarn dyeing. Um, if you found this helpful and you would like to support the content on this channel on a more personal level, you should go ahead and check out the Chemnitz Patreon. Um, it's a wonderful platform that connects fans with content creators. You can get early access to new content and some behind the scenes sneak peeks, and it's a lot of fun. You can find the link in the video description and iCard. And stay tuned because part two of this um, episode of Dipot Weekly is available right now.